hello welcome to java programming tutorials chapter 2 features of java brought to you by anchor technologies my name is harish so in this session we are going to learn about the features of java so features of java includes these much of things you can observe uh, a complete tree present here we having almost uh, 12 features of java they are simple object oriented portable platform independent robust distributed it has a neutral, neutral architecture secure dynamic efficient performance interpreted multi threaded these are the wonderful features of java okay and coming to the first feature it's very simple so how can i call the java programming as simple because according to our sun microsystem the java syntax is based on c++ so anyone is good in java or sorry anyone is good in c++ or is having a good knowledge in c++ he can learn the java language very easily that's what i mean simple okay the feature of java it's very java programming language is very simple and it has been removed some rarely used concepts like explicit pointers and operator overloading and it has added a wonderful thing called automated garbage collection use okay combination of all these things make a java programming language a simple one okay and coming to the second feature it's object oriented uh, so java it implements it implements object oops methodology so what do you mean by object oriented object oriented means we organize our software or we build a software as a combination of different types of objects that incorporates both uh, the data and the behavior so java programming language it implements oops concept that is object oriented programming concept methodology that simplifies the development the software development in a very simple manner so this oops concept methodology it has some concepts in it so the concepts are something like it can be the concepts are object class inheritance polymorphism abstraction and encapsulation okay these things okay are used in java programming language to build a software and that constitutes the oops and it's also a feature of java programming language and coming to portable so what do you mean by portable um, portable in the sense before understanding about this feature portable let me explain you platform independent feature so java it has two main components one is runtime environment and its api so the java code can run on multiple platforms so what do you mean by this java code is compiled by the compiler and when the java code is compiled by the compiler the output what we get is byte code okay and this byte code is portable so what do you mean by portable it's very simple i take this byte code and i'll run in different machines but the thing is we have to install a uh, runtime environment that is java runtime environment and any machines who is having that java runtime environment will execute this byte code in the sense the java programming language is running on that machine only because we have installed the jre on it so that's what i mean the feature called portable okay this byte code is portable okay and the byte code is a platform independent code because it can run on multiple platforms that's what the features called portable and platform independent and coming to robust so general meaning of robust means strong or reactive so java uses strong memory management and in java programming language there are lack of pointers that avoids security problem and there is uh, automatic garbage collection in java as we learned and we have some other features like exception handling and type checking mechanism and all these points all these things makes java a robust programming language okay and coming to distributed feature so distributed we can create a distributed applications in java as we learned in the earlier sessions and uh, um, since it's a distributed application we may access the files by calling the methods from any machine on the internet that is called that is what we call distributed application i can access that application anywhere on the internet and that type of applications can be built using java and coming to the neutral architecture so what do you mean by neutral architecture in the sense there is no implementation dependent features okay for example size of primitive data ty primitive type is fixed for example in c programming language uh, 2 bytes of memory for 32 bit architecture and 4 bytes of memory for 64 bit architecture but in java it occupies 4 bits whether it is a 32 bit or a 64 bit machine okay it does not mind it does not matter and coming to the secured feature so what do you mean by secured keep in mind the other programming languages like c++ uses runtime environment of operating system okay so it's not that secured but coming to java application it uses its own runtime environment that is jre to execute the code and apart from that it, it does not have a explicit pointer and 
these are the things which make it more secured and coming to dynamic interpreted efficient performance these features what it tells is like you can build a dynamic application um, using Java programming language and that's what the thing is and high performance or efficient performance interpreted in the sense Java is faster than traditional interpretation interpretation since bytecode is close to a native code still somewhat slower than a compiled language okay and that's what the efficient performance is got it and coming to multi-threaded so what do you mean multi-threaded feature okay uh, what is thread first of all let's understand that a thread is like a separate program executing concurrently I repeat thread is a thread is type of a program which will be executing concurrently we can write our Java programs that deal with many tasks at once by defining multiple threads so what is the advantage of this the main advantage of multi-threading is that it does not occupy memory for each thread it shares a common memory area and threads are important for multimedia and, uh, and other type of applications like web applications okay this is what the other feature of uh, Java that is multi-threaded so what we understood from this is like uh, what are the things makes the Java uh, most important programming language and why it is used very uh, commonly all over the globe okay this is what Java it's it has something special in it and because of all these features which makes it more robust and dynamic and efficient okay and this is what we learned in the session like the beautiful features of java so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel lang pro training you can also like our facebook page just in this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference of our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you guys have a great day